The Teslong TD450S inspection camera features a 4.5-inch tempered glass true color IPS screen with a two-way, 210-degree articulating camera probe. It is ideal for auto mechanics, plumbers, electricians, HVAC pros, and home DIY. After opening the case, you will see the TD450S monitor with its camera probe, a USB cable, and some documentation. All the controls can be found on the base of the screen or the handle. On the bottom left of the screen is the power button, and as we move to the right, you'll find buttons for Mode, OK, Up and Down, Settings, Light, and Zoom. On the handle, you'll find the articulation control, and behind the handle, you'll locate the shutter button and the speaker. On the left side of the monitor, you'll find a rubber door. Behind that, you'll see a USB port for charging and downloading content, a micro SD card slot, and a reset button. The TD450S comes with either a single camera or a dual camera probe. Both are 0.33 inch in diameter and 5 feet long. Care should be taken not to expose the probe to temperatures greater than 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't turn the articulation control too aggressively. Move the wheels smoothly and slowly for the best performance. Also, avoid coiling the probe into a circle when you are using it. The device should start with a long press of the power button, and the screen should illuminate. Check that the light cycles through three levels of brightness, as well as turns off and on. You will see some icons on the screen, including the temperature, SD card indicator, and battery level in the upper right corner, the date and timestamp in the lower right corner, and in the upper left corner, you will see the mode indicator. If the battery indicator is low, you should charge the device. If you have a dual camera model, you switch between cameras by long pressing the shutter button. To take a photo, simply press the shutter button while in photo mode. To change to video mode, just press the mode button and the time code will show on the lower left hand corner of the screen in red. Now when you press the shutter button, the camera will begin recording video. In photo or video mode, you can flip the screen 180 degrees by pressing the down button. You can zoom in on the subject by pressing the zoom button. Press the mode button again to access the third mode, which is playback. Use the up and down buttons to step through the content saved on the device. If you want to move the files to a computer, there are two ways to do this. The first method is to plug the TD450S into the computer with the USB cable and locate the drive in the Finder window. Note, the monitor needs to be turned on to see the files on the computer. If you don't turn it on, all you will do is charge the device. Navigate to the DCIM folder and you will see photos and videos stored there and you can drag and drop them onto the computer. Another option for removing the files is to remove the micro SD card, insert it into a card reader and pull the files out of the DCIM folder. If you want to adjust the settings on your device, click the Settings button to see the changes that can be made to the resolution, language, temperature unit, date stamp, recorder, audio, time, auto power off, format, system reset, storage space, and version information. Finally, clean the camera lens before and after each use with a soft microfiber cloth and a cotton swab. For stubborn stains, you can use warm water or rubbing alcohol, but don't use stronger solvents. The screen and monitor can also be wiped down to clean away dust and fingerprints. That covers everything you need to know to use a Teslong TD450S inspection camera. If you still have more questions or are experiencing any issues with your product, please contact us via email, online chat on our website, or call us at the number shown on the screen. And thank you for purchasing your product from Teslong.